Good morning, Termina Khan is here in TK Maths S1. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of permutation and combination with the help of a question which came in CI exam, June 17, variant 1 2 question in number 8. This topic is a part of the syllabus of O level additional mathematics code 4037. So before we begin, you can see on the top my website address tkmaths.com and my blog address tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com. Do visit it. You will find it very useful. The blog has all my videos which I have made so far and website offers many more things including online help. So let's begin with the question. So this question has two parts basically, part A and part B. And part A has further four parts. So we will see one by one each part in detail. So let's begin with this. So the main question is talking about a five digit number has to be formed from the seven digits. The seven digits are one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. And each digit can be used only once in that five digit number. And number you have to form have certain restrictions. So that's why there are five cases. So number one case, if there is no restriction. So I will put the link of uh, in the description, which explains in detail the permutation and combination. But in short, I will tell you here that we use permutation when order is important and we use combination when order is not important. Now, when you're forming a number, then definitely order is important. Why? Because if I write one, two, three, or if I write three, two, one, I'm just taking a rough example, right? So changing the order is changing the number. So that's why order is very important here, right? So now when question is saying there is no restriction and you can form five digit number using the seven digit number. So what do you think it will be? It will be 7P5, right? It means from the seven letter, you are taking five letters. And P means you are taking into consideration all type of order. So either two is coming first or later, so whatever. OK, part two. The number is divisible by five. So the same five digit number which you have formed here is divisible by five. So we know that number is divisible by five if the last digit of a number is either five or zero. Now the digits given to us have five but not zero. So that's why we will settle the condition first. It means in this five digit number, this last digit should be five, right? So if this digit is five, then no matter what digit you write here, this number will be divisible by five. So whenever there is a condition, you always set the condition or handle the condition first. So this space is occupied by the digit five. So it is gone. Now forget about it because it is occupied. So remaining digits are four. And how many digits are left here? Five is gone. So remaining digits are six. So from the six digits, you have to take only four digits. So what it will be? 6P4, right? Total six left. And you have to take only four to put in in this place. This is taken by digit five. So this place is gone. So you don't need to consider this anymore. OK. So now, uh, next case, the number is greater than 60,000. Now, if number is greater than 60,000, then it means the first digit number, the first digit in the number of five digits can be six, eight, or nine. Agreed? Because if digit is starting with six onward, of course, it will be greater than 60,000. 60,000 is a five digit number. So in this space, I can take how many digits? Either six or eight or nine. So we will settle this condition first. So I can put in either six, eight, or nine. So it will be three P one. So first space will be taken by three P one. And then remaining four from the remaining six digit. Because out of these, 
one digit will come here. Either it will be six or eight or nine. So that's where remaining digit will be six. So six P four, and then it will be multiplied. Again, if you are confused, why multiply? Why not plus? I will put a link in the description, and please go through that video, and I hope you will understand. Okay, let's see the fourth part. Fourth part has two conditions. Number is greater than sixty thousand, and at the same time, the number is even. So we have already seen the condition for sixty thousand greater that the first digit has to be either six, eight, or nine. And the second condition is that the last digit is even. So I mean the number overall is even. So the last digit would be either two, six, or eight. Because we know if the last digit is zero, two, four, six, eight, then the number is even. So from these digit, if the last digit is either two, six, or eight, then it is even number. so because there are conditions two conditions so we will see step wise such type of questions you mostly handle in steps so let's see the first step if my first digit is 6 because number has to be greater than 60000 so this can be 6 8 or 9 so let's consider 6 first so if this is 6 the number to be even i am left with either 2 or 8 right So here I will have either two or eight, and here six. Or, if this first digit is eight here, then the last digit will be either two or six. Or, if the last digit is nine, I mean sorry, first digit is nine, then the last digit will be either two, six, or eight. So we will find out the possibilities. of uh, arranging number with these condition and then add up the results right so now one by one we will not do it in one go this type of question you can't handle all together right so number 1 if the first digit is 1 space is taken forget about it last space have two possibility so that's why you will write 2p1 you could write here 1p1 if you want but there's no point so remaining letters are 5 you know why because 6 has gone at the first place right and from 2 and 8 any one will come here so two letters or I mean two digits are occupied so remaining digits are 5 so 5 and then three more spaces i have to fill up so 5 p3 similarly if first space is taken by 8 this is gone you can write 1p1 or you can just write one or you can write nothing i mean forget about this space which is fixed here you have two possibilities either 2 or 6 so you will write 2p1 and again remaining is 5p3 because one digit has come here out of these two one digit will come here so from seven two digits are gone so only five digits are left and three spaces to fill in so 5p3 or the last case when the first space will be taken by 9 so last space will have either 2 6 or 8 so it means it is 3p1 and remaining 3 are again 5p3 so now it means we have one by one so first case is 1 multiply by 5p3 multiply by 2p1 right this space is taken up so you can write 1p1 or 1 or just multiply them same thing here you will do 5p3 multiply by 2p1 and then last case 5p3 into 3p1 and then add up all the results so you will know that numbers which are greater than 60000 and at the same time even there are 420 such numbers okay which you have formed from seven digits and it's a five digit number okay now second part of the question ranjit has 25 friends 15 boys and 10 girls and he is holding a birthday party and he wants to invite only seven friends now when he is selecting those seven friends there are certain 
conditions. <clears throat> now, here it is a case of selection. So now you tell me either you will use permutation and combination. Either I say I'm calling friend ABC or I say I'm calling friend BAC. Would that make any difference? No. So that's why it is a case of C. Uh, just a minute, sorry. So first of all, this, these are all your questions in 8B. So let's go to first question at a time. This is what I was explaining, right? So now you will write 25C7 because from 25 friends, he's inviting seven friends if there is no restriction. He can invite any friend. So that's why it is 25C7C. And I've already explained it to you why combination. Because if I'm inviting seven friends, and the names are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Or I say I'm inviting B, C, D, A, G, E, F. So no matter in which order I tell the name, it doesn't matter. Right? So you will use the calculator and find out the value of 25C7. Let me write it down. I forgot to write it down here. So it will be 25C7. It is one eight uh, four eight zero seven hundred. Okay. Sometimes students just write this and forget to write, like I forgot to write here, calculate here. Okay, so second part of the same question. Out of those seven friends, only two of the friends are boys. So he's inviting seven, but only two are boys. Okay. And among his friends, 15 were boys and 10 were girls. So how he's inviting? From the seven, two will be boys and five will be girls. So what do you think it would be like? How will you calculate? It will be 15 C2. From 15 boys, he will invite two. And this will give you all combinations. And out of 10, five. So 10 C5. And then you will multiply. You will know in how many ways he can uh, invite his friends, which will have two boys and five girls, right? Okay. Third case, the 24, 25 friends, including a boy and his, his sister who cannot be separated. Now you tell me, imagine you and your sister have to go in a party. The condition is either you will go or you will not go because if cannot be separated, parents have said, can no, both of you will go. Otherwise, no. So the two possibilities are either both will go or both will not go. So you will find the cases for both the condition and then add up the result. So let's see. So first condition when they both go. So from the seven friends who have been invited because both brother and sister are there. So minus them remaining friends are five. And what are the remaining friends here? If brother and sister are minus, then 23. Absolutely. So it will be 23 C5. So because they are must there, we are consider the case when they both will be there. So that's why remaining are 23 C4, uh, C5. And when we are talking about they are not there, then 25 minus 2 is 23. So from the 23, you have to invite seven. So it will be 23 C seven. So total ways in which you can invite your friends are 27, uh, 278806, right? 278,806. So I think this was the last part of the question. Yes. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have learned. I will put a link of you more um videos which i have made on this topic in the description below so if you want to see more um more example please go in the description and link below or go on the um my website address or blog address you will find help over there so thank you very much for watching the video if you liked it learn something from it please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends take care Allah Hafiz.